Scott from hydrocenter.com.au. Um, I'm just going to discuss how we run a network system, which is a basic gravity-fed light system. It consists of some basic uh, parts, a tank, which is set at a higher level to the system. It's filled with nutrient, a, uh, a brain, which uh, controls it, which has a valve in it, and this valve controls the water level from the tank, much the same way that a pump does. It actually knows how, how much water to give to the plants. And each the brain is then connected to all of the pots using a common hose. I'll demonstrate with this plant here that it sits in the nutrient, which is at the same level as the brain. Basically, the valve understands that if this was sitting in a saucer of water, we would know that that would be a full saucer and that would be an empty saucer. What, what the valve does is it fills it up until it's saucer depth of nutrient, which the plant can then soak up and use. And when the plant has used up all the water and it's then got to the bottom of the pot, like an empty saucer, the valve will then know to fill it up again. The advantage of this is that the plants actually drive the system and the plants get all the food they want when they want it, not when the when a uh, grower decides they're going to feed it. From here, I'll take you and show you how this system is put together. But it all revolves around using perlite, which is a, um, a growing media, which is uh, a growing media of choice in here. We could also use coconut coir if we want to, but we'd still need a bed of perlite in the bottom there to stop it getting too wet. So there, is, there are some ways of customising it. If you come with me, I'll show you some uh, how, how we put it all together. Um, we, we do make this system in a square 183mm pot. We also uh, supply it in a 300ml pot, a 430ml pot and a 500ml pot if you're growing fruit trees and so on. Okay, here we have uh, a couple of pots which we're going to show how they work in the network system. Um, basically, there are two types of pots. There's one which is a grain pot and one which is a brain that has the valve in it. Now I'll just take this out again, just so you can see. The valve, it's nice and it's in there. And won't worry too much about how valve itself works, all it does is it knows when there's a high level and a, and a source of depth and when it's empty. But the tube which comes out of the valve obviously connects to a tank at a higher level. So gravity will feed the water down through this uh, tap, through this filter and into the valve. The filter is important so it doesn't block up the valve. The tap is one of those things which makes life easy. You can turn the tap off and disconnect that you can take the tank away to fill it or to um, uh, clean it or whatever and when you bring it back here you can reconnect it without it leaking all over the place because the tap just then gets turned back on again and you're ready to turn the system back on. So that one will go into the system which is a series of pots all at the same level. These ones don't have any have a solid bottom and um, these ones don't. Go down into there. Now, you'll see that these two have got um, holes drilled in them. And we haven't put our fittings in there because they don't stack very well in transit. What we have to do is we fill that one up with perlite. Just run fresh water through it to make sure it's wet down and, and rinsed before putting it in the system. And then to connect all these together, you set the pots up where you want them to be, and then you put the little rubber grommet into the hole, nice and easily. If you weren't watching, that would have gone in easy. There you go. And the T-piece, what we do is we push that into place, and if I, as I push that in, it will swell up inside and seal, and it'll come in flush. I won't push it all the way in, because I'll never get it out again. So once we've got tea pieces in all the pots, what we have to do is get the hose and measure out what length between the pots and cut them to length and connect the pots together. 
and the system will then commence running when you fill up the tank. That's a fairly simple idea and um, if you have any problems just let us know. Um, so there you have it, simple system. Gravity feeds it down into a valve and all the pots are connected together by this tube in a loop so that all the pots share the same amount of nutrient. Perlite's in the pots and so all you have to do is put your seeds in, wet them down and they'll come up and the system will take care of it for you. Happy gardening! Bye now.